Hi guys, it's Miss Elizabeth, and this week, Pastor Laura is talking about the time when Jesus breathed the Holy Spirit into um, the disciples. Now, do you think he knocked every one of them to the ground and did like uh, CPR breathing, you know? Do you think he just told them, hey guys, take a deep breath and see if you can smell that Holy Spirit. Let's take a deep breath and see. Everybody take a deep breath with me. Can you smell it yet? Take a deeper breath. And a deeper one. No. No, you can't smell the breath of the Holy Spirit because it's not that sort of thing. But what Jesus was telling them was that when they took in the Holy Spirit, it was always with them. Now, the other thing Jesus said was that you, when you take in the Holy Spirit, you can forgive people. And if you forgive them, then their sin is forgiven. You've forgiven them. And that's nice, isn't it? If someone says you're forgiven, then you know you're forgiven. But you want to know what else Jesus said? He said, but if you don't forgive them, their sin is retained. Now, retain can be kind of an odd word. What it means is uh, held on to. So when Jesus said, if you forgive them, they are forgiven. But if their sin is not, if they're not forgiven, then their sin is retained. It meant not only did they retain their sin, but you retain their sin also because you're carrying a refusal to re forgive them. Now, I want you all to think about this week, and I know that you're stuck at home with your brothers and sisters. That's okay. It happens. We're all stuck at home probably good for us but it gives you a chance this week to really practice forgiving so this week every day at the end of the day I want you to review what you've been up to and see if there's anything you need to ask forgiveness for and I want you to think about the things that maybe you got angry with someone for and I want you to go to them and forgive them. That's the only big thing for this week. Now, if we can pray together, are you ready? Let's close our eyes, close our hands, bow our heads. Thank you, God, for breathing the Holy Spirit unto us. And we ask that you help us remember to forgive and to ask for forgiveness. We know that only you can give us such power. We thank you for the wonderful world around us and ask only that you lead us forward that we might not be lost in the darkness of discontent. Amen.